alert. More than two dozen types of prepackaged muffins are being recalled because of a potential listeria contamination. The muffins are from give and go prepared foods. They were sold under a variety of brand names, including Uncle Wally's, the Worthy Crumb and store brands at Walmart and 7-Eleven. The recalled items include blueberry, chocolate chip and corn muffins. If you have any of those, throw them away. A surprising jump in new unemployment numbers. 419,000 Americans filed jobless claims. That's a two month high. That's 50,000 more than the previous week. The total number of individuals on some form of unemployment assistance remains historically high at about 12 and a half million. Economists warn this is a sign the market is still dealing with the pandemic as some states face a surge in new cases. First and foremost, we're on top of stories making headlines across America. Let's start with victims and families in the condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. They'll be getting a minimum of $150 million in compensation. Initially, that sum included insurance money and the expected proceeds from the sale of the Surfside property. It does not include payouts from any of the numerous lawsuits filed since the collapse that left at least 97 people dead. Meantime, nearly one month after that tragedy, a massive pile of rubble has been removed and it's now relocated to a different site. In Chicago, police are trying to figure out who shot up a party bus Wednesday night. Investigators say the bus was parked outside of a gas station just before midnight when a Jeep drove up and someone inside started shooting. At least eight people were hurt, some serious. This was the third mass shooting in Chicago in a span of six hours. A 14 year old boy was killed in one of those shootings and a total of 17 others were wounded. A woman is dead and three others are missing after flash floods ripped through Colorado. A mudslide sent a large amount of debris into a canyon, destroying at least five.